Hey everyone, in this video, we will be going over how organizations can use Fortisor and FortiMonitor to gain deep visibility and faster incident response within their NOC and SOC environment. In this scenario, we have an enterprise with two dedicated teams, a NOC team work focusing on network infrastructure and operations, and a SOC team focusing on security infrastructure and operations. The two teams have decided to implement Foysor in their SOC and Forty Monitor in their NOC environment to help improve their overall efficiency and reduce their stress workload. As an example, we have a virtual machine that triggers a malware here. The malware happens to spike the CPU usage and activates an alert within Forty Monitor. The alert is turned into an incident within Forty Monitor, and there the NOC team is able to investigate further through manual or automated means. In parallel, since the malware was activated on a virtual machine with Fortinet's endpoint security, security installed on it, FortiEDR is able to automatically block the malware from causing harm to the machine or the surrounding in, endpoints. FortiEDR is then able to send an alert to FortiSort directly or through a SIM product like FortiSIM, such that SOC analysts can investigate those alerts. In this case, we have integrated FortiMonitor to send the incident to FortiSOAR, such that while NOC analysts are investigating to get more details on the incident from a networking point of view, SOC analysts can correlate security alerts from FortiEDR and network alerts from 40 Monitor, so that both teams are working independently, but also collaborating together to get more details on the incident so the organization can function normally. Let's see the scenario in action. Kenny, our NOC analyst, will first go over the first half when malware causes a spike in CPU and an incident gets generate, generated in 40 Monitor dashboard. Forty Monitor is a holistic SaaS-based digital experience and network monitoring solution. In this short video, I will walk through how a NOC engineer receives an alert for an incident via Forty Monitor and what steps can be taken to resolve the issue. On the screen is an infrastructure map of our network that allows us to easily monitor the health of all of our clients servers and network devices. A green box indicates healthy and a red box indicates there is an issue. Notice that one of our devices has just turned red. Let's click on the red box to view more details. In the pop-up page to the right, we can see that the incident was triggered because the CPU percentage used is greater than 95% for more than 5 minutes. Now click on the incident ID. On this page, we can view more details regarding the incident, including the CPU percentage used, performance, incident history, metric history, Note at the top of this page the following tabs. Set incident lead, add incident summary, add incident solution. These three tabs will guide us on how to document the root cause and incident impact. In addition, it will give the NOC operator contextual guidance on how to troubleshoot and diagnose this issue. Click on set incident lead Here I can select either Calvin or myself as the incident lead. Click on Add Incident Summary. In this Incident Overview pop-up page, I can add an incident summary to inform my teammates about the details of the incident. Further down, under Incident Solution, I can also assist my team 
by crediting an existing incident solution that helped resolve this incident or add a new incident, incident solution to reference later. And we can also select a metric that this solution applies to. In this case, CPU percentage used. A note in the middle of this page, countermeasures. Let's click on it. Countermeasures are automated responses or actions to incidents for either auto diagnostic capture or remediation that will help to troubleshoot and diagnose the issue. In addition to receiving an email notification, an SMS message was also sent to my mobile device. Let's take a look at my mobile device. The NOC team is now prepared to take the appropriate action to remedy this issue. Thanks, Kenny. So now, let's go ahead into for, uh, the 40 store dashboard and see the alerts pulled from 40 monitor. We've integrated 40 Monitor straight into our, our platform, but they could also go through a SIM as well. Here, the SOC analyst gets an alert about the incident, saying that there's high CPU usage, and so the security analyst might want to investigate this further on. This could be done using our playbooks or through um, uh, going through these steps manually. So if we go into our asset page, we can see the various machines pulled either from vSphere, created manually, or other connectors. We can look up the host name via the name we got in the alerts page, win10-dvwa, and click on the asset that matches that host name. Clicking on it, we can see that this virtual machine has another alert automatically correlated to it via our playbooks. So it turns out that this alert is related to another security alert that we got from 40 EDR. That means that the virtual machine was somehow infected with malware. Using this method, we can separate the large amount of false positives received from 40 SOAR and have higher confidence on the integrity of the security infrastructure. Knock and sock analysts can use this setup to work independently but also in parallel and quickly collaborate with one another to provide faster incident response and strengthen the network performance. From here, SOC analysts can use this information to look for patterns happening within their environment using our playbooks or going through uh, these steps manually. Perhaps another asset is affected with a similar malware and so an attack campaign is currently happening in your infrastructure. You can extend the scenario to include 40 gate to block attacks at the network level, 40 sim to consolidate, consolidate logs, or utilize 40 source war room to resolve the issue. Hopefully, that gave you a better understanding of how NOC and SOC teams can work together to help accelerate incident response time. That concludes the demo. If you have any questions, please do not hesitate to reach out. Thank you.